Hello. I want to talk about the Tesla Roadster. Uh, first of all, I didn't get to hear about it like everyone else got to hear about it. Um, if you saw my other video, you know I had to wake up early Friday morning so I couldn't go to the event. And I couldn't really watch the event because I had to be up at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't want to be out here sleepy driving. So I found out about the, the Roadster by waking up. I looked at my phone. I realized what happened the previous night and I immediately tried to find out um, what was going on with Tesla Semi and the first thing I see is the Roadster. <laughs> Spoiler alert, none for me. Um, yeah, that's how I found out about the Roadster. I didn't get the big surprise that everybody else got with it popping out of the back of the truck. And that, that makes me think Elon really reads the farms and everything because when everyone was guessing what the big secret would be, everybody had something coming out of the back of the um, the Tesla Semi. Some people thought it would be the pickup truck coming out of the back of the Semi. Some people thought it would be the Roadster coming out of the back of the Semi. And some people thought it would be the Model Y coming out of the back of the Semi. But it still was exciting to watch. So I'm watching the event as I'm getting ready for work and I see him kind of close everything out and he's kind of wrapping up the event and I'm thinking to myself he's going to pull a Steve Jobs he's going to give us a wait there's more it was pretty exciting seeing it even though I knew what was going to happen I had chills as they turned the truck around and I knew the roaster was going to come out of it and I just wanted to see how they were going to do it and they did it well um, the way they showed off the roaster the way they had it come out the back of the truck it was perfect um, the event in its entirety was excellent. It, in my opinion, it was by far their best event that they've ever put on. Um, if you watch other videos on YouTube and you see the Tesla Model S and X racing other cars and kind of, for the most part, beating other cars and races, there are always the naysayers that will tell you that, well, Teslas aren't good over 100 miles per hour. And, um... Yeah, I've had someone tell that to me to my face with a straight face. Um, yeah, but it, it's no good over 100 miles per hour. It loses its kick. I don't know when other people get to drive over 100 miles per hour, but I don't often at all. Mostly because I'm a truck driver and I can't be getting a bunch of speeding tickets, but you don't even have the opportunity. Most of us are sitting in traffic. But I do enjoy jumping off at lights and just feeling that instant acceleration just up to the speed limit. But that was the one weakness of the Model S and X, you can say, is the the performance at higher speeds. But with this whole event, it was like Tesla decided to put diesel engines and internal combustion engines to shame. Like, completely to shame. Like, just the presentation showing the 0-60 to 60 of the Tesla Semi compared to a regular Semi and how slow it was and how boring it was waiting for it to finally catch up and this roadster which I don't like this saying but I wish I could have been a fly on the wall in the room where they were designing this car like I can see Elon and the whole design team and the battery team and everyone in there getting everything together and Elon just walks up to the front drinking an energy drink like we're gonna break all the acceleration records. Let's go. And he just walks out and everybody else is just left there trying to figure out how to catch up. Some of the specs, zero to 60, 1.9 seconds. Zero to 100, 4.2 seconds. Top speed, over 250 miles per hour. 200 kilowatt hour battery for a range of 620 miles. Range anxiety, bye-bye. And before you can even take a second to be impressed by that, that's just the base model. And the uh, base price is $200,000. The founder's one is $250,000. It's a $50,000 deposit. And for the founder's edition, the $250,000 is due up front. My thoughts, I like the old Roadster design. I wasn't in love with it. But I think it was a nice design. The the Lotus Elise design, it was it was good. It wasn't great. Just my personal opinion. It was good. This one blows that one out of the water. 
this the next gen work roaster looks amazing and as a bonus it seats four and it uh, looks as if the goal is going to be two adults two children i think i think that's what they're going for so yeah two hundred thousand or two hundred and fifty thousand dollars but be careful when you put in your reservation um if you're getting the regular version it says the total vehicle price is two hundred thousand dollars but it doesn't say that for the one that costs two hundred and fifty thousand. So it, that one could potentially cost more, unless they just forgot to put it on the website. Well, we know there aren't going to be any cars that beat it, but there are some cars that come close, sort of close. Um, full disclaimer: all the prices I have are just from Google searches. Some of these cars are limited production, so they're only available in auction type situations. So, so some could cost significantly more than what I have listed, but so take that with a grain of salt. Um, okay, first there's the Lamborghini Huracan, um, with a zero to 60 of 2.8 seconds and a quarter mile at 10.8 seconds. Uh, there's also the McLaren 570 GT, also $200,000 with a zero to 60 at 2.8 seconds and a quarter mile at 10.8 seconds. Stepping up in price at $288,000, the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, um, 0 to 62 in 2.9 seconds and a quarter mile of 10.4 seconds. Also 0 to 100 in 5.9 seconds. And if you're on a budget and you're really pinching pennies, you can get yourself a 911 Turbo for $160,000 with a 0 to 60 of 2.6 seconds and a quarter mile of 10.7 seconds. And as far as comparing to the uh, Tesla Roadster, that, that Porsche 911 is is not bad. It's just pretty close. 2.6 to 1.9 is $40,000 cheaper. Not bad. I also wanted to look at some vehicles that were significantly more than the Tesla Roadster just to see how they stacked up in performance. The Hennessy Venom GT, 0 to 100, 5.3 seconds for $1.2 million. Zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds for $2.6 million. The Bugatti Veyron Supersport, 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, $1.7 million. 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds and a quarter mile in 9.6. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of this vehicle, but <laughs> it's 0 to 60 is 2.6 seconds, the 0 to 100 is 5.1, the quarter mile is 9.8, and it cost $2.1 million. McLaren P1, $1.15 million, 0 to 62 in 2.4 seconds, 0 to 100 in 6.3 seconds, and a quarter mile in 9.8 seconds. And finally, the Ferrari, La Ferrari, that I hate that they named after the name of the company, that's $1.4 um, 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds and a quarter mile 9.7 now all these prices are just googled and mostly are new and most of them are new prices and some of these vehicles limited production you can some of them you can only get in auctions now and one of them for for sure auction for like seven million dollars so the next gen tesla roadster is going to be in great company as far as vehicles that you're going to be comparing it to um, I don't think there was any word on the official production date. Um, when he was on stage, he, he made the comment of people asking when they were going to make the next gen roadster. And he said, we're making it now, but I don't know if he meant, I don't think he meant like production now. Um, looking at the car, you still don't have any mirrors on the sides and you still, and it, it has a odd steering wheel. So that's something that might not 
go that's something that might not make it to production it, it's not uncommon to see a um concept type vehicle to have that that square type racer steering wheel but that next gen roadster is going to be amazing especially if you're an adrenaline junkie it's going to blow your mind i still remember my first ride in a p85 plus which is by today's tesla standards is a fairly slow vehicle it it, it it blew my mind and it would still blow my mind if i rode in one today and if you haven't had a chance to ride in a tesla you should consider scheduling a test ride or bugging a friend or something to let you ride in theirs because reading these numbers is one thing but experiencing the real deals is it's completely different but that's all i have on the tesla roadster uh, to sum the whole thing up, wow.